All right, welcome to a video on the area of a rhombus, a regular polygon, circle, and we're also going to do the circumference of a circle while we're here. Now, start this off with two things. First, if after you watch that first video I did on area, if you're like, I got it, I didn't have to listen to you do it with this stuff, I encourage you to, when I go to these pages, pause it. If you see the formula, you want to try it on your own, try it. Go for it. And then listen to make sure that everything you did was right. But if you want to try something before you hear it, please do it. That'd be fantastic. If you don't want to do it, that's fine too. Listen, go from there. Also got a little joke from one of my former students. They really like saying this. Why, did, why was the math teacher late for school? Because they got on the wrong bus. Wrong bus, wrong bus, wrong bus. So, I, th I think it's hilarious. So, rhombus area. You find it by doing one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Now, it doesn't matter which one of your diagonals is diagonal one or diagonal two. It does not matter. So, pick whichever one you want to be diagonal one and diagonal two and go from there. So, find the area. We're going to do one half times diagonal one, let's just say it's a 10 foot, and then diagonal two will be our 12 footer. We work this out, we figure out that we get it as 60, and it's 60 feet squared. Remember, all of our areas are squared units. So, just like before, I want you to try this one on your own, so go ahead, pause the video, try the one on the right now. Now I know I, I realized I forgot to say this, but go ahead and round stuff to the nearest tenth for this video. So if you didn't do that and you got the 625 and you just kept it, that's fine for now. But from here on out, let's round to the nearest tenth. Check your work with mine. And now we go on to the next thing. So, area of a regular polygon. It's one half times A. A means apothem. So that's the apothem. The apothem is this right here. That's the apothem. It's the thing from the center of your regular polygon that makes a right angle with one of the bases. That's the apothem. And this P stands for the perimeter. So this is the perimeter. So we do one half times apothem times the perimeter. If you remember, the perimeter means you add all sides. So this is add the sides. So let's start. So our area is one half times the apothem. On the left here the apothem is four times the perimeter. Now we could add five six times or there's the faster way which is since it's a regular polygon all these sides are equal. That's what it means to be regular. It means that all the sides are equal, congruent. So we could just take 5 multiplied by 6 to also find the perimeter. We put this in the calculator and we figure out that it is 60 feet squared. Now on some of these regular polygons in your practice problems they're not going to have a unit so if there's no unit just write unit squared or u squared so I know. So I want you to go ahead and do the one on the right on your own. So go ahead, pause the video, do that now. All right, so here's the solution to that with the rounding. So go ahead and check your work with mine, and we'll move on to the next video. Not video, area. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. And if you remember with circles, the radius is half the diameter. So this whole thing here, this whole thing, that's the diameter, and this is the radius. Diameter. So we need the radius here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Don't get rid of it on your notes. I had to get rid of it to make space. So we need to identify the radius. 
So the radius is half the diameter, so it's three centimeters. Now we can do the area, so it's pi r squared, so pi times in parentheses, three squared. Do not use 3.14 for pi. Your calculator has a pi button. If your calculator does not have a pi button, you need to find a new calculator either around or you can use your computer as a calculator. But don't use 3.14. I don't care what happened in the past. We're going to use pi. We're going to get the whole pi. So if we put that in the calculator, we do pi times 3 squared. We get 28.27 and a bunch of other numbers, but we only want tenth. So we look and round. So our area is 28.3. And then we're with centimeters, so centimeters squared for our area. So on the right, there's another example. Please note that it does not give you the radius, so you have to find it. So go ahead, pause the video, and work on that now. Okay, so here's the solution to that. Check your work with mine. We're going to do one more formula. Now this is circumference of a circle. So the circumference of a circle is the outside of the circle. It's the distance around the outside, whereas the area was the, all the space inside that circle or whatever polygon we were working with before. So we don't call it perimeter, we call it circumference. And it's 2 times pi times radius for this. So again, we're going to have to use our radius. So for this, it gives us the radius. So our circumference is 2 times pi. And again, don't use 3.14 times 2.5. Remember when substituting in a number to put it in parentheses. So now we do this in the calculator, and we get 2 times pi times 2.5, and we get 15.70. So we round, and we get 15.7. Now circumference is like perimeter whenever we don't use squared units. Since we're just going around and we're not using two dimensions here, it's just units to the first power. So it's 15.7 inches. So to finish this up, Go ahead and work on the one on the right. Please again note that you're given the diameter, not the radius, so you have to find the radius. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so there's my solution. And I hope you noted that when you round it, it made the 9, that 8 made the 9 round up. Well, if the 9 rounds up, that means that the number before it has to round up, so that 3 actually rounds to a 4, and we don't need to write point zero, so it's just 44 meters. So, that's it for the video. When you feel comfortable, work on those practice problems. But with this video, you're done unless you want to review it some more.